I'm Michael Rooks, Whelan Family Curator of Modern and Contemporary Art, and I'm here with Radcliffe Bailey. We're standing in front of Radcliffe's new painting, East, West, South, North. Radcliffe's earlier paintings uh, were constructed with a dense layering of images and form. I was just curious, Radcliffe, if you could talk about that, and I'm curious where that, that comes from. Well, one place it came from, I never knew when to stop. And so I'd, I've always, um, I would stop on the seventh layer, and sometimes the seventh layer would actually be like seven days, maybe seven different thoughts, um, seven physical layers over top um, of the work. Why seven? I always felt like seven was a perfect number. This one in particular is really based on thinking about the slave trade coming from West Africa um, to the Americas, but then also dealing with my family members so there's a slave trade coming from the east to the west. And then my family members coming in um, from, to the south, from the south. And then throughout the Underground Railroad migrating north. And then there's another layer that's a part of it that's based on my father being a railroad engineer. But then a, there's another part of it that's based on travel. And one finding themselves always at a crossroads. Um, and directions in life, and we're always at, in transition. That's kind of how I'm kind of constructing my work in terms of layers mm -hmm. of all those different thoughts at once. And so in many ways, I've always been insecure about the marks I make, mm -hmm. but I've learned to layer those marks with, um, almost create symbols with the marks and creating them in such a way where they can, they fit me. When I was in school, I studied sculpture, and I was a sculpture major in school. And I still have this question about sculpture being sculpture and painting being painting, because they're all one and the same to me. And so the thickness of the layer of the paint could be just as sculptural as anything. And I kind of think about, you know, earlier when people thought about the earth as being flat, and thinking about, you know, all these kind of things, the unknowns and the questions. I'm kind of, my head's wrapping around those things real fast as much as I am concerned with things that deal with history. I'm kind of concerned with mystery.